Madam, can you tell me if you saw or heard anything unusual upon the night of the murder? At two o'clock in the morning, I heard a terrible scream. I thought nothing of it then. He would scream all the time when he was drunk. Do you remember at what time you found your husband's body? In the morning, at around seven o'clock, I noticed the cabin door was open but I didn't go in to take a look, for I knew my husband would not have liked it. At around ten o'clock, I dared to glance in through the door and... Oh, dear. Can you please tell me what occurred on the evening of the murder? Well, Peter got drunk in the evening. He was in such a terrible temper. Usually, whenever that happened, he'd stay all night drinking in his cabin before passing out. Was your husband accustomed to receiving visitors? Oh, no, I don't think so. I mean, he didn't really have many friends. We lived quite an isolated life here, after his retirement. Thank you, madam. You have indeed suffered a great loss, Mrs. Carey. Nevertheless, I believe it will be less of a burden for you soon. Yes. Life with Peter was never easy. But he was still my husband. He was different, wasn't he, when you first met him upon your return from Plymouth? Yes, Mr. Holmes. Oh, my goodness, but how do you know about that? You undertook a pilgrimage to the Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela when you were young. That much is evident from the rosary in your hand. The shortest route for the pilgrim from England to Spain is from Plymouth. I believe that you met Peter Carey as a young sailor there, and you married him soon afterwards. That is indeed what happened, Mr. Holmes. How extraordinary. Thank you, madam.
It seems that the garden was well maintained. The door is locked. Wait just a moment, Mr. Holmes, and I'll open it. I locked it yesterday to ensure that no one should enter the cabin and tamper with the evidence. Ah, good thinking. Hello, hello, hello. What is it, Lestrade? It seems to me that someone has tried to force it, Mr. Holmes. Let me see. These scratches are fresh. You're right. Someone tried to force open the door. I swear these scratches were not here yesterday. Now, a mysterious visitor came here last night. Well, he's not the man for the job. This lock is not a difficult one. Perhaps he did not have the right tool. This window is locked from the inside. I do not see any attempt at a break-in. What a terrible way to die. This man is in his fifties. Yet he still looks quite strong. Peter Carey was fully dressed. He was not caught by surprise. It is possible that he knew his murderer. The weapon fully penetrated the body. The force of the blow was immense. Peter Carey was impaled to the wall by a wailing harpoon. This blood is from the pool underneath the dead body. This wooden handle is plain and solid. Peter Carey tried to defend himself with this knife, but he did not succeed. J.H.N are probably the initials of the owner of this notebook. J.H.N. are probably the initials of the owner of this notebook. Hmm. The pattern of the blood stain indicates that the notebook was not lying on the floor prior to the crime but it was dropped into the pool of blood after the death of Peter Carey. These abbreviations mean something, but what? drank from this glass recently. Someone drank from this glass recently. Rum, a sailor's drink. It seems that Captain Carey was enjoying a drink before he met his death. The initials P.C. have been crudely burned. A sailor's work. Hmm. 
Hmm, this aroma is familiar, but to recognize it, I must construct my associations in one picture. This is a coarse tobacco, quite strong and very popular among sailors. The Sea Unicorn. She was the ship that Peter Carey commanded. The murder weapon was probably taken from this rack. Peter Carey's boots may look to be a size 8. Old navigation instruments, nothing interesting. Hmm. The ship's logs of the Sea Unicorn for the years 1878 to 1884. Peter Carey was her captain. The tooth of a sperm whale, probably from one of Peter Carey's catches. This place is not covered with dust, like the rest of the shelf. An object was taken from here. It was larger than a book, a box or a small chest, perhaps. Hammerfest. It's a whaling map. These boots don't match the footprints. 